join us same time, same place. Joanne Straub, the Shields weather kid from South Point Elementary. Can't wait to talk about some spring-like rain with Joanne. And speaking of that rain, we have gobs of it making its way through. Now I've seen emails from folks and even some Facebook posts, disappointing amounts of rain up in the Devil's Lake Basin and Stark Weather 6, 100s, expecting more. There's more on the way. As we notice, this system is coming at us in waves. A wave of moisture passed through during the overnight. Fargo didn't see much, but this middle band that's now making its way up into Grand Forks and points north really dropped a little bit more where we saw actually a good tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain across the region. This extends now from the Jamestown area through Grand Forks. Notice there's another wave down toward Minneapolis and south of there near Sioux Falls, another wave setting to make its way northward. Hey, there is some thunder and lightning taking place in the central Dakotas, Bismarck points north and south, and also moving toward the I-94 corridor in eastern and central Minnesota. So locally, heavy showers where those thunderstorms pop off. Now, as we see down by Sisseton, a little bit of yellow in the radar down there. That's a heavier shower that may come with some thunder and lightning. The best chance of hearing rumbles of thunder, at least this evening, will be from the Wapaton County area through the Ottertail County area and point south. But Look at this band of moisture twisting its way from the Thief River area all the way back out towards Jamestown. So some beneficial showers now in Pennington County stretching all the way through Grand Forks just to the north of you. And the heaviest of the rain looks to be through Grand Forks now as the slightly drier air will be pushing your way. You'll still have rain showers, a lot of baseball practices and, well, trips to the park canceled this evening. Carrington, New Rockford, some heavier bands of showers pushing your way. This is surging north and east towards Wells County. Here's Wells County. Here's Harvey. And this is where the uh, train derailment took place today. So more rain moving in on that vicinity this evening. This storm system, a slow mover, grabbing moist air and humidity from the Gulf Coast states and throwing it up right up into the northern plains. And that's beneficial for our dry conditions that we have here. Here's a look at I-94 and University right now. Look at all the brown grass. This rain will do it wonders. 66 degrees, and the humidity is up there now for a change. Wind from the east-southeast is 15 miles per hour. So everyone with those east or southeast winds, and everyone in the 60s with the exception of Valley City where it's 59 right now, and one of the warmer temperatures is in Wandina where it is 68 degrees. Hour by hour forecast shows uh, passing showers. Most of the activity will be pushing along the Highway 2 corridor this evening and out towards where the fire is. Then the thunderstorms out in the central Dakotas will stay put out there and move northward. We're going to get a little bit of a break in the, at least the uh, widespread activity as we go through the late evening and early overnight hours. And then overnight, some developing energy in the atmosphere makes its way back into the valley. So we'll have morning scattered showers and even a few rumbles of thunder. This time the thunder could push north of Fargo-Moorhead and more rain on the way. By the afternoon, a cold front approaches. So everybody on this side of the cold front has a chance at 65 to maybe 70 degrees. Wind not so bad, but it gets gusty and temperatures begin to fall behind the cool front as we go through our day. By tomorrow evening, the best chance of rain will be pushing to the south and to the east. And again, our model shows from now and into the day tomorrow, a chance of a good few tenths of an inch of rain here and there. Hour by hour forecast shows temperatures in Fargo almost steady all night with passing sprinkles. But then as we go into the day tomorrow, the chance of thunderstorms returns again, especially in the early part of the day. Temperatures will be warmest out ahead of that cold front, coolest up into the north and west. All of us in that near 60 degree to 70 degree range. Wow, fire in the sky captured in Gary, Minnesota behind this tree that is just beginning to show its pride and its leaves. With the rain, that'll help that view across the region. Breezy and a little quieter Friday afternoon, but cool, 59 degrees. Saturday, the best of the weekend. If you're running, if you're playing outside, perfect. Sunday, though, for Mother's Day, got to tell you, it's looking a little on the damp oh. side. And more heavy showers are possible. Okay, just because we need some more flowers for Mother. Some Maybe water. Yeah, that says we got to get out a little early for Mama on Saturday exactly, and help her with that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. All right, thanks, Hutch. Well, coming